We're not hearing you very well. Yeah, well, they're not saying much yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. We're going to put pieces of aluminum foil with the different sizes, and we're going to put the thermometer under the aluminum foil and put it under the desk lamp, and let's see how high it gets with the different sizes. So she already shown the different sizes. Before. Okay, can you just tell us where the electromagnet magnetic energy is in this experiment? What about this is electromagnetic? Transforming um, um, light into heat. Sorry? We're transforming light to heat energy. So is the light electromagnetic? Yeah. I'm not sure about that, but I like this experiment. All right, so go ahead, guys. First, we're going to put the um, full sheet with the thermometer. And by full sheet, what do you mean? Uh, a full sheet of aluminum foil. Um, but how is that a, a full sheet? How did you measure it? With a, what is it, paper, paper, and the paper. So it's the same size as a sheet of white paper, like a copy machine paper. They cut it the exact same size as that. So it's eight and a half by 11? Yeah. It's a copy. Eight, eight and a half by 11. 11. Yeah. But now they're... Let me get that really quick. Get the phone. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Please pardon the interruption. Would Ms. Glenn please call the office? So now they're putting the uh, thermometer okay. under the uh, sheet aluminum foil that's full size, and they're going to time it for one minute under the light yeah. and see Tell how hot it gets. Okay. What did it start at? Yeah, what did it start at? What was the temp? 50. 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you think it's going to get warmer? Yeah. Okay, so, so you can kind of understand where this is going. After they do this, they're going to do a half sheet of paper size piece of aluminum foil and see how hot that one gets in the set. Then they're going to do the same thing with a one-fourth size sheet of aluminum foil and see how hot that gets. So what you're trying to think about, everybody, and cover it live, is do you think it'll get hotter under a certain size piece of foil? Will the full size sheet get hotter? Will the middle size sheet get hotter? Or will the smallest sheet of aluminum foil um, cause the most heat? So put down what you think. How many of you think it's going to be the full size? How many of you don't really understand what's going on? Okay, let's try this again. They have different size pieces of aluminum foil, and they're heating them up under the light. And the question is, which will get hotter, the biggest size piece of aluminum foil or the smallest size piece of aluminum foil? So how many of you think smallest? How many think biggest? How many aren't really sure? Ms. Tiedemann, can you... Um, Mute the sounds. I did mute it. I'm hearing sounds. Oh, it's probably nine. I put in here, I put in the settings that mute all system sounds. So what they're doing now is they're cooling the thermometer back down to 50 degrees to do the next test. Okay, what was the first test results? Uh, yeah, what was the answer on the first one? 50 to 61. Okay, 50 to 61 degrees. So what was the difference? Uh, 11. 11 degrees. It went up 11 degrees. And then they're also, by the way, making sure with a ruler that the light is always the same distance.
from the sheet of aluminum foil. Why are they doing that? So why? So because the distance from the distance matters will affect how. Because if we did it at different distances, it would be different just because of the distance. So that would be a different variable, right? Right, we only want one variable for each experiment. So the variable in this experiment, what is it? It's the different size sheets. Right, the different size sheets of aluminum foil. We don't want the distance to be different. The, the thermometer is going back to 50, correct? Is that yep. I think that's the timer. Yeah, the yeah. thermometer is going back to 50. Okay. <laughs> and that timer, I know, I keep thinking that timer is the thermometer. But it's not, it's a timer. It's a timer counting down. How many of you think this is going to be hotter? How many of you think it's going to be cooler than the last one? Wow, we're like split right in half. What is it? 62. 62 degrees. What was it before? 61. Oh. Okay. So now we're going to a smaller piece. How many of you think the smaller piece is going to be hotter now? So. <laughs> So it seems like it got hotter that time, right, by one degree? Uh -huh. So now they're going to the smallest one. If that keeps happening, what should happen here? Should get even hotter, okay? Now do we know that's going to happen absolutely for sure? No. I mean, it looks that way, and it probably is, but believe me, scientists all the time do experiments like this and about the time they think they get it, something changes and throws them off. And then, what do you? What won't happen if this is the whole before? You got to stop and what? Figure out what. Why is that small form get colder all the time? What happened? And then we probably do the experiment some more to see if that kept happening the same every time, or was that just a fluke? So you can't just do experiments once and then draw all your conclusions from it, okay? Very often you have to do it over and over in case something happened to fill them off. Go ahead, guys, and you're ready. Oh, we lost our timer. Yeah, they're getting it. The time is four seconds. There you go. A minute. It's under there for one minute. Why isn't the signal timer going down? Well, I can. It says 44. But it's much smaller. It's hard to see on the big screen. And the color changed. It happens. They'll tell us. We'll hear it. Right? This piece is nicely lit, though. <laughs> well, that's the light they're using. <laughs> that's what I noticed about ours. But next time we'd like to use better lighting. I was hoping not to have a lot of lighting so that the light I know. can show. It was hard to see. I know. Patiently waiting. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. Wow. I totally would not have gotten that now, one. Is that what maybe things like, happened the first time? Was it that big a difference? A lot more like that? Wow. So when they did this experiment back before uh, winter break, they said they got the same kind of results like that, where it jumped like that on the smaller one. 
So the smaller piece is giving us the hotter. You know, that makes me think about cooking. Uh -huh. Like if I cover something with aluminum foil and put it in the oven, obviously I need a small piece of aluminum foil, the smallest possible if I want to get it to cook fast. <coughs> So, so why would that happen? Why would the smallest one get the hottest? I mean, a lot of us originally thought, well, that big one is going to catch more of the heat. Um, with none of the, all the light hits it, and it's going to get the hottest underneath. But that's not what happened. How come? What do you think, Claudia? Yeah. Sure. Well, it hits it completely. We can't hear Claudia at all. She, she's saying that she thinks the light doesn't hit the bigger piece as much, and that's why it hits oh. it completely. Oh. Nick, what do you think? I think that since the piece is bigger, it's going to hit the bigger piece more. Okay. So it has to hit the bigger piece more. Okay, can you hear Nick at all? Yeah, have, come say it again. Come closer and say that. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I think that since um, the sheet is bigger, it would take more light to heat up the entire thing, whereas with a smaller piece, it um, doesn't take so much light. So, right, so, so more time might get it hotter. It takes more heat to heat it all the way up. 